Hello and welcome to Getting Started with Logos. In this video, we're going to be looking at taking notes and highlighting in the Bible two activities that uh, virtually everyone that studies the Bible does. And we'll start with notes. Notes in Logo 6 is uh, essentially the same thing as writing in the margin of your Bible. Uh, it's a little bit a uh, little bit different from the standpoint that you're not actually writing uh, in the corner of your electronic Bible, but it uh, does exactly the same thing. And rather than uh, go into a long explanation of what it looks like, let me just show you how to do it, and then you'll see what it looks like. You'll notice in this particular uh, uh, right well right now I have uh, the English Standard Version open. In my left pane, I have the Baker Exegetical Commentary on the New Testament, John, in my right. And I'm open to John uh, 21, 15 through 17 uh, in the Bible. And this is the section where uh, Jesus asked Peter on three different occasions, Do you love me? And that would be a, a fairly typical verse where you might open up a commentary to get an impression of really what's going on here because there's more going on and just appears on the surface of the text. But um, you'll notice over in the exegetical commentary uh, there's a paragraph here that says, but we must discern the thrust of the question, do you truly love me more than these? Uh, that is the paragraph that I want to make a margin note in my Bible with. Now, the way I will go about doing that is to go over two documents, click on it, and you will notice that I've already opened up all my note files, and these are just various notes that I've created over the years for various purposes. But in this particular case, what I'm going to do is open up uh, a new notes file by clicking on notes and now we have a uh, untitled note file and I'm going to change that by left clicking up in the corner here where it says untitled notes and here's where you need to start making a decision on how you're going to handle your notes for example you could title a uh, note Bible and put all your notes into that one note file. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, in fact, that might be fairly straightforward and easy way to handle things. You could also break it down in Old Testament, New Testament, or you could break it down by books. I tend to break them down by books, and I also tend to do it by the type of material that I'm working on uh, at the time. The nice thing about notes is you can have dozens of different note files, but they all show up in your chosen Bible. Now, one thing I should mention right off the bat is, is that with notes, they will only show up in the Bible that you attach them to. They don't propagate across all the versions of all the different Bibles uh, that you may have. There's actually a way of doing that, but I'm not going to discuss that in this video. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to name this particular note file John. And if I actually clicked in there before I start typing, it would probably work a lot better. There we go. So we have John. I click Enter, and we now have a note file called John. At this point, I'm going to close the file because I don't need it open, and it's covering up my Bible. Now, I know ahead of time that what I want to do is attach this note, but we must discern the thrust of the question, to the uh, section uh, here titled Jesus and Peter, uh, which basically takes place all the way through uh, verse 25. So I want to put my, my margin note, if you will, or my note, right up here at the beginning where it's titled Jesus and Peter. But what I'm going to do to begin with is I'm going to highlight the text that I want my, in my note. And then I'm just going to do a control C, which is copying that particular uh, section of uh, Baker's. 
I'm then going to go over here and I'm going to highlight Jesus and Peter. That's as good a place to place this note as any. And I'm going to right click on it, which will open up the box. And as we scroll down towards the bottom, you will see Add a Note to John. So what I'm going to do is left click on that. And that opens up my John note file. And it will be titled up here, John 2115 in the ESV. And give that title, or the highlighted text, Jesus and Peter. I go down into the content box here, do a control V or control paste, and there we have it. Now you'll notice that as soon as I did that, a little yellow box appeared over here. And by the way, you can change that color. Uh, it's just a matter of clicking there and picking the color you like. But as soon as I've done that, this shows up, or the yellow box shows up over in the Bible. And if you put the pointer over the top of it, what you're seeing is the text that I put into the box. If I were to click on this, it would take me in, over here and open this up. But since it's already open, don't need to do that. And you can continue to do that um, anywhere you want to along, uh, along in the Bible. Just keep adding notes and they will appear in your Bible as these little boxes so that uh, uh, you can read what notation you put in there. You can type in there whatever you want. You can add to it from text from other uh, resources that you may have. And interestingly enough, you can also do a search on your note files. So uh, it's a very, very handy way of uh, putting notations in your Bible. And these notes will also show up in any device that you happen to be using Logos on, whether it's your uh, phone, Android, Android or Mac phone, or your uh, tablet. Uh, these notes will show up there through the, the cloud service that Logos gives with, uh, uh, with the Bible software. Now, the second thing that virtually everybody does in the Bible is highlight text. And to highlight text in the Bible is actually pretty straightforward. Go to Tools, click on Highlighting, and it'll open up on the left hand side. And as you go down, you'll see all these different highlights that you can use. Now, since uh, highlighting pins generally the way uh, that most people highlight the Bible, uh, you'll notice that I have uh, the yellow highlighter here, and off to the side you'll see a uh, uh, letter Y. Now there's two ways that you can apply a highlight. One is you can outline the particular text that you're interested in, and then open a highlighting and click on it. Or you can use a control key to highlight. And uh, in this particular case, uh, well, actually, let me go over here and highlight something. Uh, I'm going to just highlight this one little section in Baker's. I'm going to come over here, click the yellow highlighter, and sure enough, it's now highlighted in the text. Now, interestingly enough, you can also go back, and if you decide, oops, I didn't mean to do that, open up the highlighting panel click erase, and it goes goodbye. But once you've used a highlighter pen, you don't need to keep opening up the highlighter panel in order to highlight something. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to come over into Axe, and I'm just going to, for the fun of it, highlight the introduction. And then at this point, do a Control K. and now you've highlighted. If you ever want to change how the color that you're highlighting, go back into the highlighting box and away you go.